um, I'm Jean Evans, I'm the Project Director for the National Holocaust Memorial Day Commemorations in 2008. Uh, Liverpool bid to host um, and uh, was given the privilege of doing it. It normally is hosted in cities around the UK. Uh, we uh, were successful this year partly because of 2008, because the issue we wanted to take to a, a European platform. Um, the programme is involves schools and community groups representative of those persecuted uh, by the Nazis. My name is John Guy, I'm a photographer, local photographer. Uh, this is my exhibition of uh, Auschwitz. Uh, it came, this has come from uh, three visits to Auschwitz, the last one being uh, I spent seven days photographing Auschwitz, both um, Auschwitz I and, and Birkenau. Um, this has come about uh, through my grandmother, who we think was German Jew, um, as she, she had a, a hatred for the Nazis. Uh, and after the Second World War, but would not speak about her family back in Germany. As part of um, hosting the uh, commemorative programme, one of the things the National Holocaust Memorial Day Trust wanted us to do was to get the message clear to uh, members of the public so they could understand really the importance of remembering and uh, reflecting on of the issues um, in towards genocide prevention. And uh, I was inspired when I went to Beth Shalom to the museum about photographs, uh, photographic images of spectacles. Being a spectacle wearer myself, I think it particularly affected me. I understood really the uh, severe disablement really caused to people who have their spectacles taken from them, which is a lot of why they didn't fight back. Um, and uh, I just felt a need to collect them. I wanted it to be symbolic, and everything within the display is, uh, has a meaning. What we've got here is um, various sizes of suitcases to cover various groups of people and it's today's age, what people of today would pack. There's an older gentleman, a lady here who's the mother of, of a child. This here's one of the children, and again another child, and here an obviously female youngster, um, all packing with different thoughts in their mind. In this case, they wouldn't know. In that gentleman's case, you've got a, a feeling of knowledge there. He has a, an idea, because he's got calcium tablets, he's got a drink, he's put his driving licence in. These are kids who are thinking about just enjoying and hanging on to stuff that they, they value as a child in play. Very thought-provoking. With this being a unique um, exhibition, we didn't really know how many glasses we would collect, so we had to uh, have an estimate really, and uh, the figure we came up with was 330,000, which is really quite a tall order. Um, so I realised that with the use of the mirrors in the ballroom that we only really needed to collect a third of that, which is 110,000, because the effect into infinity would give us the appearance of the number of people who were saved. They were the uh, English people, 330,000 on the show list, that weren't, um, well, they would have suffered the same fate had the Nazis inv um, invaded the British Isles. I'm Mark Grimes. I'm a Liverpool away volunteer. Uh, we're collecting spectacles from members of the public and spectacles that have been donated and we're putting them all into a chain that go into a part of the exhibition. The collection mm. into Liverpool at the present moment has been over 100,000. They've come across from across the world, from America, from all over the UK, from people with touching stories, from firms, and from local people in the local area. have all donated their unwanted glasses. 
Um, the glasses after the um, display will be donated to Vision Aid overseas. We've also brought on board a number of celebrities and we hope to uh, um, auction their glasses and the funds raised from that will also be donated to charity. I, I feel that all of my grandmother's family uh, more than likely went to Auschwitz because I think it was 23,000 uh, German Jews who were first sent, sent there to be gassed. Um, because we, we, I've, we've been looking through all the archives, we can't find any, any records at all. My grandmother um, destroyed all what documents we had from Germany because I th we think she was hiding the fact that, uh, that she was a Jew. Um, and we think she was trying to protect us if something like that, uh, this ever happens again. She was protecting the fact that her children were, were, were Jews. In here we've got a representation of um, the glasses, things that were found, mounds. And if you look, there's a, the larger glasses and then the children's, heartbreaking. And I think the way that being created here, it gives you feelings inside, makes you feel choked makes you shiver and this is a way of feeling what has happened understanding you don't understand the concept of what has happened because you weren't there but here it gives you the feelings that sometimes they must have felt themselves it's just awesome I don't think there's any other word to describe it and the way they've created the, the everlasting railway line brings back thoughts of being on that train, on those trains, travelling along, not knowing where you were going, why, well, presuming that you didn't know why you were going, ever hopeful, clinging to your family. It just, it's, I can't, I can't even think about it. It makes me feel cold. I just hope it never happens again.